And finally, there are many uses to which the Israeli army could put one of its high-tech drones. But the latest is saving the life of a rare and near-helpless vulture chick that lost its mother. So for some high-tech military hardware, a change of culture for a vulture. She's a griffin vulture and a mother and a member of a species so endangered she's tagged. But tragically, soon after these pictures were taken, she died when she flew into power cables. The conservationists who set up this nest camera knew that the father left behind would not be able to rear their one chick on his own. And so a savior was sought and found called Mother Drone. It's been dropping food onto the cliff face ledge every two or three days. The use of the drone makes this a pioneering rescue operation and there were plenty of risks. It was very tense. We were very uh, afraid that it would uh, affect the chick and he might jump off the nest or the father would attack it. The drone itself has been blurred because it belongs to the Israeli army and is classified top secret. But this precision flying is possible thanks to state-of-the-art technology that gives the operator a pilot's view. These are real drone pictures, but it's virtual reality created by a cutting-edge company that makes for this meticulous maneuvering in the tightest of spots. You must be proud of what you and your company have done. I am proud. Uh, it's another use case we never thought about. When you, when you open a company, you know, you build something for a, for a certain market. You never think about all the possibilities that you might find. Equipped with the right tools, it was a special Israeli army unit that actually conducted these unique stealthy feeding missions. The major in command, who cannot be identified, told me that to prepare, they built an indoor mock-up of the ledge and nest and spent hours practicing on it before starting food drops for real. The chick has discovered that there's no such thing as a free lunch, but it's been able to fight off thieves and to grow thanks to the food provided by its father and by mother drone. The collaboration between the army, the tech company and the conservationists got the ultimate endorsement this week when the chick flew for the first time. Job done. John Irvine, News at 10, Tel Aviv. It's time for us to fly to that.